watchers, welcome back to the channel. Today I have uh, none other than this classic piece. This is the Casio F91 uh, W Alarm Chronograph. Of course, it's the 1989 release classic. And as far as I understand, very little or essentially no changes have been made to this model uh, ever since its release. So 30 year run in production and no sign of stopping. Let me know if you're aware of any watch that has run for this long, uh, you know, up to the 21st century. I'm not aware of any others. It's just fantastic uh, how much penetrance this has had. So, you know, for those who don't know, uh, this watch is available for around $10, sometimes less than that, you know, on various retailers online. And I'll put uh, links, you know, to stuff that I can find down the bottom, uh, of course. All right, so let's just get into the review here. So now I'll start with the case here. The case here is a 33 millimeter across. So if you look at the indentations between, you know, and the case there between those buttons, if you measure that, the width there is 33 millimeters. If you measure it at the buttons, right, these two buttons is more like 36 millimeters. So it's not a large watch by any means. Thickness is 8.2 millimeters, you know, just the total thickness there. Uh, and the lug width, if you, you know, if you're interested in that in terms of straps uh, between the lugs there is 18 millimeters. Uh, the, the actual strap itself uh, hits about 20 millimeters at the widest point uh, because you can see it, it narrows into the lugs. Uh, lug to lug distance or I guess you might say the height of the case if you, if you just measure the height of the case is 38 millimeters and the overall weight with this plastic case and resin strap is a very paltry 20 grams. The lightest watch I have reviewed. It, it is also the cheapest watch, of course, uh, that, that I have ever brought onto the channel. Um, the case back here is screw secured, so four screws, very, very transparent here in terms of, you know, exactly what it's doing. You can see it uh, laid out exactly and, you know, the details are that you see uh, on the case back stamped onto that stainless steel case back. Uh, the buttons are either chrome or stainless steel cylinders. I can't really find uh, confirmation on that. Let me know if you know whether they are actually solid steel or whether they're just chromed uh, material. Uh, the water resistance of this watch, uh, you can see on the dial there, you know, it, it's, it's very simple. It just lays it out uh, as it is the, the brand, the model number, alarm chronograph, which is exactly what this does. And then the light, uh, you know, mode, I guess, button function descriptions and then water resist it doesn't actually tell you how much water resistance this has uh, presumably this is 30 meters because other watches with similar construction in the f series of uh, casio are rated at 30 meters so i'm going to assume it's 30 meters so it's just a basic almost like a dress watch style uh, water resistance meaning wash your hands get wet in the rain but not more than that all right, so this is an LCD display, of course, you know, I, I, I use the word dial, but really it's not so much of a dial, it's really just a very, you know, very simplistic, very straight up and down retro style, clear LCD display that shows you the time, the date and the day in the basic display. Uh, on top of that is uh, what I think, you know, based on certain websites they have reported this is acrylic. Um, the Casio website itself doesn't actually state, but I, I think it probably is acrylic because that's what they tend to use in their cheapest watches. And this is certainly one of their very cheapest. Uh, in terms of lighting uh, with this button, you can see, I'll just try to show it to you now, right? It's just a very basic green LED, right? It's not very well functioning in the dark, but it does allow you to barely read the time. Not the, not the best feature of this watch, I would say. Okay, the module in here is none other than the Casio in-house manufacturer uh, 563 multifunction or really not really multifunction, I guess it's really uh, just a digital display quartz alarm uh, chronograph module. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the functions now. So this is the basic time display that you've seen here. This button just allows you to change it between 24 hour display and AM PM. Okay, that's just very simple and straightforward. Right, first mode is the alarm and this button allows you to, you know, turn the alarm on, turn the time signal on or turn both on or off. Okay, so that just show you the alarm. Okay, not bad. That's actually louder than some of the G-Shocks that I have, you know, in terms of the alarm. That's actually a pretty uh, nice volume alarm. Okay, so that was the first mode. 
alarm and then next mode and really the, the, the only other mode is stopwatch. So just start. So one one hundredth of a second counts up to one hour or 59.9999. Uh, it's just that, that's just all it does is a one hour stopwatch, right? Stop, reset and that's it. Okay, and then the last mode I'll just show you is the time setting mode. Okay, you can go across and just to tell you, right, that's the minutes and that's the month and date and day. So it's really just an uh, annual calendar, right? It do you don't actually have the year option in here. So really you have to reset it uh, on February the 29th if you have that on your year. All right, so that's what it is um, in terms of uh, the uh, battery life, it's rated at seven years, but I'm told that if you don't really use it very much in terms of stopwatch and lighting, it, it likely actually lasts in reality longer than that. So pretty fantastic, the one uh, lithium battery that makes it run for seven years. And I'm just gonna show you some of the Easter eggs in here. So one is uh, if you hold down the button, uh, that, that bottom right button, uh, it gives you this Casio display, let it go and it goes back to time. Uh, and the other thing is if you hold down all three buttons or click all three buttons, it gives you the full, it turns on every single uh, LCD cell there. Okay, and that, that kind of can be used to check whether it's counterfeit. Uh, <laughs> amazingly, there are actually counterfeits of this watch uh, out there in the wild. Uh, why would you do this? I guess, you know, it's, it's that popular. People might pick it up. But, you know, if you if your watch doesn't have those functions, it probably is a counterfeit. If it does have those functions, it doesn't mean it's not uh, because there are, I believe, counterfeits that have managed to copy some of those uh, Easter egg functions there. Okay, so that's the, the module. Let's move on to the strap, which is, you know, I'll just let you see the pattern. I'm not going to describe it. There's just some patterning on this uh, very basic uh, resin band here, or resin strap with a plastic buckle with Casio kind of embedded into the buckle there. Okay, nice and light and very thin. The thinnest one that I've seen in terms of resin straps on my Casios, uh, you know, be fitting this very lightweight watch. Okay, so let's just put it on for the wrist shot for you guys right now. And there it is guys, the Casio F91W, the absolute iconic classic on my 17 centimeter wrist. This will fit anyone, this will fit, uh, you know, women's wrists as well. It'll definitely fit my wife's wrists very well and probably also many kids, you know, it's really a thin and small and lightweight watch. Um, so guys, what can I say about this? What, you know, can you really comment very much on a famous icon uh, like this? I, I will say that it's crazy cheap, right? $10 or less, amazingly cheap. It is super light, so you really very easily forget that it's even on your wrist. So it's very comfortable because of those things. It's it's an icon that is really instantly recognizable. I mean, surely is there, any more recognizable watch among digital watches. I, I would think this is the most recognizable digital watch in the world. You know, let me know if you think otherwise. So, you know, it's cheap. It's It's got this recognizability and you know, you got cheap and cheap and you got cheap and good, right? If you know what I mean, I think this is very much in the latter category. Um, it's got a reliable and durable quartz movement, of course, with, with a very clear, you know, simple LCD display for the size of this watch. And because of its cheapness, it's got incredible penetrance throughout the world. They, they tell me, uh, information I can find is, uh, this is around 3 million units a year, you know, massive amount of production in terms of numbers, not in terms of revenue, but you know, it, it's just everywhere. And it's got an unpretentious and clean design. It's not really trying to be anything else except a very simple functional digital watch with a fantastic battery life to boot. Okay, what are the concerns or, or I guess, you know, weaknesses or cons that I might even bring up about such an icon? Well, because it's super cheap, it's ubiquitous. It's not exclusive by any means. This is not the reason you would get this watch, right? It's not anything special. It's just a very uh, reliable, well-made uh, budget piece. Uh, the, the lighting, I would say, is relatively poor. I've shown you the lighting and, it, it, you know, you can barely make out the light in the dark. Uh, in terms of reading the time, but it doesn't do much more than that. So definitely not the best light I've seen in the Casio watch. In fact, one of the worst. And then tell me what you think about the stigma. You know, this 
if you if you Google Casio Terrorist or Terrorist Watch, this is the watch that comes up in the first 10 hits or more than that, uh, because it has been undeniably linked with making bombs, you know, being used as a bomb timer, presumably because it's so affordable. So, you know, that, that's a little bit of a stigma of the watch. I, I, I'm not sure if it really affects people's enthusiasm about this piece. It probably doesn't, but let me know what you think. Should watch enthusiasts own one? Does this have a place in your collection? Uh, I would like to know your thoughts. So here's a question for you guys. You know, does this have a place in your collection? Would you pick one up for $10 to, you know, to have around as the icon that it is? All right, so guys, there it is. That's my review of the very famous, very well-known Casio F91W. Let me know your thoughts. Very keen to hear what you guys think about this. You know, it's just such a well-known, uh, widely distributed piece. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.